All right, so we've uh, got this crack, you know, cleaned out. And as you can see, I mean, it's a lot cleaner than it was. And we vacuumed it out. We hit it with a wire brush, vacuumed it out. And now we're ready to put in the Instant Medic. Instant Medic is, again, it's a one-to-one -one product. We're just going to mix it up a little bit. I've got A and B right here, equal parts of each. And it's very easy to use. You just mix them together, okay? And then stir it. I'm using a plastic spoon here. And, you know, don't overthink it too much. You do want to keep this product cool. You don't want to sit it out in the sun or anything like that. Then it'll kick over really quick. So you want to keep it inside because it's a quick setting product. So, you know, we usually just stir it for 15, 30 seconds, make sure it's mixed, and then just start using it. And to use it, you want to pour it in the crack and then just pour it along this crack. And then I'll show you, we'll go back and, and do what I call babysitting. Um, and you, you want to babysit it as it flows in there and keep pushing it inside this crack. So just kind of pour it along. And if you've got a big crack that's a sinker, what we call a sinker, that's a big crack and your material's disappearing, you can add a little bit of dry sand to this. Don't over sand it though, because then you'll have too much of a ratio of sand and you'll have basically weak sand castle material. But, um, so, there we go. I just I want to do this area and make sure we got it pretty good. Got some sinkers back there. Okay, so this is this is why what I call babysitting. This is why we're gonna babysit it. Because Toby brought up a good point. You see how it sank in there? And then we're just gonna babysit it. Keep pushing it in there, okay? Um, when this product turns white or a creamy type look, it's done. It, it's setting up and um, it, it's done. So. Okay, so here, here's, this is a good situation. If you want to add a product to it, you need to add any bone dry product. It could be a sand, it could be Portland cement or something. So here's what we'll do. I'll go over here to this bag of cement because I just need to add some dry product to it to keep it from sinking a little bit. Yeah, I wish I had some sand, but this will work, okay, just for demonstration purposes. Sand does work better because it's finer. But we're just gonna add a little bit of dry product to this area to kind of show you um, how to block it. Again, sand would be better because then we wouldn't have these big, big chunks, okay? So, see how that helped thicken it up? It's gonna help thick it up, thicken it up and, and block the sink right there. And then it's gonna get hard and you'll be able to grind that flush. So again, babysit the crack so it stays um, you know, over the crack and filled, and it just doesn't sink in there and completely disappear. It looks like, see, this one's fine. But I always go through and just, with your putty knife, you know, push it, push it back in this crack. Here's a great example of a sinker, okay? So, throw a little bit of dry Portland in here. Use some of this product. Pull it from over here. Okay. Again, don't don't get it too too dry. You want it still workable and pliable, but that'll help that from you know sinking all the way down on you. Work time on this product it, it varies from. Uh, temperature um, so on average I would say you know 10 minutes so you just want to do sections of cracks at a time or what you can you think you can work with with your um, with your crew however large that is again it's still workable because it's still in the same color state so again I'm, I'm babysitting these cracks Yeah, that one's flush now. It's feeling pretty good. That thicker material, it's kind of stopped it from sinking. We nearly got a paste-like material, which is great. 
again, you want to use bone dry product. If you used a wet sand, that would not be good. Okay, I'm gonna finish doing this and then we'll come back and grind it flush here in a second.